All right, welcome. Night drive. Night drive with uh, Huey. Huey's in the back. Can't see him at the moment, but uh, I forgot. I made a video earlier. I forgot to post it. So we'll make another one now. This is Huey. You can see him. And uh, we're driving through the city at night. He wants to get on my lap, of course, because he's insecure. <clears throat> anyway, today, as I mentioned in my <clears throat> other video that I did not post, I, um, I did my shoulders this morning and I just get, did 600 calories on the bike. So I'm happy with that. That's uh, that's decent. No problem. Got some exercise done. I ate a lot of sugar and cookies and stuff over the past couple of days, so I wanted to make sure I got my exercise done. So at least my calories are burned up. And now I got a dog on my lap. He sees something. He sees something interesting. So. Bobbing around. All right, you got a good view of the dog briefly, and now he's on my lap again. This is what he does. He likes to sit on my lap with his head on my shoulder between my two arms when I'm holding the steering wheel. It's really quite interesting. Now he's spinning around. I'll try to show you what I'm talking about. You can't really see. Anyway, I don't want to have an accident, so I'm not going to do that maneuver again. But there he is, sitting on my lap. Now he's blocking my head. Mm, you going to go over in your chair over there, my boy? Huh? Go over there. Go on. All right, we're stuck at the light. Waiting for, um, oh, he's not in the back, huh? Waiting for the arrow. Here he is, Chewbacca style. Excellent. Excellent. So, uh, I started studying Spanish again while I ride the bike. I've been just playing the language tapes and doing a lot of repeating and answering questions as I ride, which is actually quite good because uh, it makes the bike ride go a lot faster. And I want to be studying something, I'm trying to keep the mind active. And uh, I put in a lot of effort over the years to learn Spanish, but I can never use it, so uh, it doesn't stick around. But I notice now when I'm doing the language tapes that uh, because I put in the groundwork years ago, a lot of it's kind of coming back to me. So that's nice. So maybe if I studied Spanish six months out of the year and then I stopped for six months after a few years, it would be good. Because a problem with studying Spanish and never having anyone to speak with or Korean or French or whatever I've studied. It's usually after a few months I get quite bored with it and feel like I'm not making any progress and I don't have anyone to talk to. And I notice it just gets, it gets difficult because it gets boring and it kinda, I hear it but I'm only half listening type thing, if that makes sense. So we'll see how far I can go with the Spanish before I get bored and then I'll put it aside for a few months and probably redo it and maybe that's the way to do it. What I used to do is I'd study Spanish for a few months and then I'd start getting bored with Spanish and then I'd switch to Korean, I'd do that for a few months and then I'd get bored with Korean and then I'd switch to French. I'd do that for a few months and then I'd get bored with French and then I'd go back to Korean or go back to Spanish depending on how I feel. I usually sandwiched in uh, French, I mean correction, I usually sandwiched in Korean because Spanish and French are kind of similar, they're both Romance languages. So. I 
always wanted to study Italian because apparently it's the easiest to study, which makes sense because Romance languages are from the Roman Empire, and the seat of the Roman Empire, of course, was in Italy. So, Spanish and French and Portuguese and Romanian and other Romance languages, that's most of them, but uh, other dialects or whatever branched off from Latin, which is now modern-day Italian, so, uh, you know, it would make sense that Italian is the easiest, I guess, to a degree, anyway. To a degree, it's almost like the root language of all the other Romance languages, I would conjecture, although they're probably all different now, who knows. Anyway, the point is I got some exercise, burned a few calories. Oh, I also walked a dog around the pond a couple of times with 50 pounds strapped to me. I knew I did something else, and that's what it was. So, I got a fair amount of exercise, burned up some of that sugar. Look at the dog. Yeah. Red light, we're in red light, red light, red light. He's a happy dog. <laughs> he needs a bath, but he's not going to get one. <sighs> anyway, my videos are probably going to be out of sync because, uh, might put this one up before I put the other one up, but we'll see. I'll put up both videos either way. Not sure what uh, order they're going to be in. Anyway, that's about it. So, till next time, who loves your baby? This guy, don't forget it. And remember, you're somebody's favorite person in this world, probably mine. So, till next time, from me and Huey, love you and goodbye. Mañana.